today I'm going to show you how to create blank comic book interiors for KDP print. All that's coming right up in today's video. What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create blank comic books to sell on Amazon KDP as a low content book. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every single day I bring out all different types of videos showing you how you can start to make money with nothing more than an internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. So how are we going to be creating these blank comic books? Well we're going to be using Canva and Google Slides. This is really really easy to do and if you're doing low content books and selling them on Amazon then you should consider doing blank comic books as well. So first of all let's go over to my Amazon account. Now I've been doing this just a little over two weeks. I have if we scroll down you can see all these are in review I published these this morning these will be live by tomorrow morning normally takes around 24 hours sometimes sooner but as you can see I now have almost 90 books and I've been doing this a little over two weeks so if we go over to my reports I'm going to show you how many sales I've actually had from doing this little business just in two weeks. So let that pull up for a minute. As you can see, I started round around, round around, round about here. The 17th of November is when I started publishing books. It's taken a couple of weeks to get going. Then over the last few four four days or so, I started making sales. As you can see, I sold one book here one book there. I actually sold three books yesterday and one book already today. Now this is slow to get going. I expect it to pick up quite a bit. Now we're in quarter four as well. So there's a lot of people going to be buying presents and gifts. And I plan on just keep publishing more and more books. Now if you want to see more videos that I have, that I have done about selling low content books then I'll link a playlist right there in the right hand corner so go through and watch it. So how are we going to be creating these blank comic books? Well it's really really easy we're going to be using Canva to make in the template and then I'm going to use Google Slides to turn it into a book and you'll we'll see why in a minute. So for this I've just made this an 8.5 times 11 inches not pixels, inches, and then we're going to create one of the templates on here. So all I would do is go to elements, I would go to shapes, then I would choose any one of these. I'm going to go with this one, let that pull up. I'm going to make the line smaller just by dragging it down like that. Now I'm going to put this up to the top, this is going to be the first one. Now remember to leave an edge round here, I think it's about half an inch or so you have to leave, but I'll just pull that over like so, make sure that's about even, pull that down. Now that's going to be the first panel for your blank comic book. So I'd keep that one there, then what I would do, I would copy that, pull it down a little bit, make sure there's a little gap in between. Put that one over, copy it again, Ooh, delete that, hold on, going to copy, pull over, make sure there's that little gap in between, copy again, pull it over, pull that bit over to line that up, like so, then I'm going to copy that again. See how easy this actually is when you use Canva. So let's pull that over to about there. Copy that again. Put 
push that over make sure there's that little gap and there you go that could be your first template for your blank comic book now what I would do just to make it bigger I'd pull that down to about there like so pull that over make sure it's lined up do that Pull this one down about there, push that up, pull that one down, pull that one down. So that would be your first template for your low content comic book. Then all we would do is clone this, and now we can change this up. So I would pull that along. Copy that one, push that over, make sure it's got that little gap, pull that over, then I would delete one of these, make that longer, and then pull this one to there, copy again then push that over like that, make that line a bit smaller, and there you go. That's the second template that you can use. Now you can leave these blank comic book strips just like that, or you can also add speech bubbles. So if we scroll down, as you can see I have ones like this, you can put this in the book as well. You're you can easily get these from over on Pixabay. Then you can like put one there. Then if you scroll down, you can like put one here as well. Make that smaller. And keep it like that. And now we have a blank comic book strip. Now what I would do, I would download these little templates. So let's just download one of these. And now go over to Google Slides. So first of all, you'd want to make this the right size book. So we'd go to File, we'd go to Page Setup, and then Custom, and we'd do 8.5 times 11, and press OK. Now we have the right size book. So let's just delete that. Let's just delete that. And then what I would do is just drag this in, and bam, we have the start of a blank comic book. Now as you can see here, because I did it pretty quick, this line isn't quite lined up with that line, so if you're doing this, take a little bit more time into making this, just to make it that high quality and make it look better. Let me just go ahead and take this second one from here as well. We can take number two download that and now we're going to go back over to Google Slides now I'm just going to copy this duplicate it go there, take that one off drag that one on now another thing you can do when you're in here you can duplicate then click on the image go to arrange Go to Rotate and Flip. Now what looks like a completely different template. Now we can do that with this one as well. So I'm going to do that. Click on the image, Arrange, Rotate and Flip. Now we have another different template. Now what I would do is just copy all them, duplicate, copy, duplicate, and you would do this to as many pages as you, as you want. If you're doing a 100 page comic book, you would obviously do a 100 pages. Now, another thing I would do, I would go to add a new slide. Go to this one. Then what I would do is just take that off. Move that to the beginning. Where is it? There it is. Scroll back up. 
go back over to Canva, make a blank page, then I would just put this book belongs to, then just do a bit of an underline like that, make that like so. Now why do I do this bit in Canva? Well Canva has a lot more font styles than Google Slides does and I like the fonts that they have in Canva. So what we can now do is just change the font. You could choose any one you want. For this instance, let's just go with this one. See how that looks? That looks good. Then I would just download this. Hold on, let me just take that bit away. It's going to let me just make that a little bit bigger. There we go, move that over, make sure it's centered. Then download one. And then go and plug that into Google Slides and bam, you have a blank comic book. Now, did you see how easy that actually is to do? Fairly easy, wasn't it? So let's just take that, drag that in. That's good. And then what I would do is just press present, take a little look and just make sure everything looks OK. So that looks good. The pages look good. And yeah, I'd be happy with that. So I'd go to Escape, 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 press File, go to Download As, and download the PDF. And bam, you have your book. All you would have to do now is create the cover, which you can also use Canva as well. So let's just go over here. We have the book just here, the blank comic book interior. Open that up zoom out a little bit and as you can see we now have a brand new book comic book that we can sell on Amazon KDP and it was relatively quick to make now if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments section down below and I will get back to you and now I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go and hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stack and Profit, and I'll see you again soon.